Let's talk about installment payments or multi-payments. So often anyone who's been involved with course creation has to deal with this of what if I want to give them an option to pay to have a three pay option? How much should I charge? So I'm going to answer that question exactly for you in just a couple of, couple of minutes. I'll give you how much you should charge for a three payment plan for a 500, a thousand and a two thousand dollar program. OK, so I'm going to give that to you in just a couple of minutes. Let me show you a couple of principles that you need to understand that will help you to figure this out stuff this stuff out for yourself so the question what should i charge for multiple payments all right so the first one is don't make the mistake that a lot of people mistake which is just divide the payment by three or by five or whatever it is the number of payments that you want to make when you do that you do two things number one you almost kill the number of people who do a single payment because there's no incentive for them not to break it across three payments. But then the other pay thing is this. Anytime you do multi multiple payments, you significantly increase the risk that you're not going to get all the payments in. It just, that's just the way it works, especially when your program is finished and they're still having to make payments. People tend to just cancel, just decide to stop pay making payments and things like that at that point in time. And so I recommend that you follow the model of the credit card market. So the credit card market, the bankers, they make their entire living on being able to collect the money that they loan out. And credit cards are exactly that. And so let's just not try to reinvent the wheel. Let's just go take what they're doing and use it ourselves because they've got billions of accounts out there. They know what the risk is of default. All right. So I just Googled what is the average interest rate for credit cards? And the answer came back for if you got good credit, it's currently 18.04%. You didn't realize it was going to get that exact. And but if you look down, basically they're saying it's between about 15 and 20% is the current rate for credit cards. And that assumes you've got good credit and realize a lot of the people who are going to buy your program will have bad credit. And so they would be at the 29 or even 39% interest rate. And so you got to combine all those into one giant formula. All right. So what you're going to want to do is the bank rate is 18.04% between 15 and 20. You're going to want to charge the same rate of interest. I mean, they're as I said, they're the ones who've got it figured out. They've got billions of accounts. So here we go. I recommend you do it with three payments. Now, in a moment, we're going to talk about what if you have a year long program or a six month program. But if you have a typical course, which a lot of people people do, it's going to be a six week, an eight week, a 10 week course, something like that. I recommend you do a three pay model. So you can pay me a thousand dollars or you can pay do three payments of X. OK. All right. So here's the answer. The very specific answer. You don't have to do any math. If you're charging $500, so a $497 program, do three payments of $197. Okay. If it's a $1,000 program, so a $997 program, it's three payments of $397. These are the norms in the industry, and we've all tested these, so we know what works. If it's a $2,000 program, three payments of $797. Now, some people say $797, that's a lot of money. It is. Totally is. So shouldn't we kick that into a six-pay model? Well, here's the problem. You significantly increase your risk. Keep that in mind. We're going to loop back to that in just a moment. So let me show you the rule of thumb the mathematical equation you use to figure this out. Okay. All right. So we're going to get math for 30 seconds. Don't worry. It's not deep math. You take how much you would pay, how much you charge them when they do a single payment. You multiply that by 1.2. So if it's a thousand dollar program, you multiply it by 1.2. So that makes it $1,200. Then you divide that by the number of payments. So in this case, three payments. So 
$1,000 times 1.2, $1,200 divided by three, three payments equals $400. That's why we're doing three payments of $397 each. Okay, that's how you do the math. Now, the reason I give you this is because if you're doing a six month or a 12 month program, maybe you're charging $15,000 or whatever for that program, because it's going to be a, a high end 12 month program, then you would take $15,000 times 1.2 divided by 12. Okay, it's that simple. Whatever it is that you're doing, you just take the number of payments and you make that that's what you divide it by. Now, the principle here is really key to understand, which is it's best if you have them pay off the program while they're still in it or shortly thereafter. The risk increases considerably when they're still being asked to pay and they finished the program months ago. So I know there are a lot of people who like, they, they say, well, my audience doesn't have a lot of money. And so I'd like to do a 12 month, 12 pay program. I will tell you, if you do a 12 pay program on a thousand dollar or $2,000 product, you're going to have a 30 ish, 30 to 40% default rate on those last, uh, uh, on the payments by the time you get done. And, and I'm telling you this from experience. I've seen it happen over and over and over again. The longer the payments, you, you the number of payments, the higher your default rate. And so you may want to do that if you really, really, truly believe. And by the way, remember the old axiom. What's in their wallet is none of your business. Really doesn't matter. You want the people who can pay to come in. And so if you get longer than your program and the longer you get this, you significantly increase the amount of defaults that are going to happen. People who just won't pay you. So keep all these things in mind. So $500, three payments of $197, $1,000, three payments of $397, $2,000, three payments of $797. Those are just good rules of thumb. You don't have to sit and do the math. Just drop those numbers in. You'll be fine. Okay. All right. What's your experience with multiple payments? Have you tried something different than this? What's your biggest questions about them? Let me know in the comments. This is Don Crowther saying, just go do this stuff. Mm -hmm.